So say good morning to everybody at home. Hi guys. We're gonna stand right on the edge, heels down. And if this hurts your feet, just took your black mat and you can put it on the bottom of the left. Heels together tight, inner thighs on. Glutes are pulled together with big Frankenstein bolts. Hold torso as tall as you can. Snow angel your arms. And when you snow angel, feel your scapula being even. Good, pull tail between the legs. Good, and bring hands behind. Good, now don't lean back. Come up onto your toes, balance. Inner thighs tight, glutes on, squeeze your heels together, and come down without leaning back. And again, lift up. And back down. Good, and up. Watching your balance. I was actually watching Jim, that's funny. Two more. Good, looks good. Good. We're going to start working on balance. Let's go feet and up. Joan and John, I'm going to have you guys turn around. So turn, that way you don't feel like you're looking at a wall. I'm not looking at a wall. No. Sorry about that. I know. It's so cute and small. She'll, she'll keep it perky enough, smiling at all times. So smiling glutes. Okay, toes go against the lip. If they're not on the lip, and you're standing with your feet just directly underneath your lungs or your hips. From there, hands can be wherever you need it for balance. Bring the left foot up onto the bar. Good. And scoop that heel in right inside where the sit bone is. So you're not out from the sit bones, but you're in that center line. Good. Down and up for A, and it's finessed. And Joan, if you feel crowded, scoop forward. John, same thing. Scoop forward. There's plenty of room. You're not going to fall back. I want you away from this. both sides. Bolts are on. Guys look good. Keep your hips equal. Fight for it. Pelvic floor. Good. And release. Take your rotator disc and place it on the floor. So Joan and John, I want you guys, yeah, 18 inches forward. <laughs> or two feet forward. Does anyone feel off today? Does everybody feel pretty on? No difference than any other day. Okay. Good. We'll take that as an on. Okay, left foot comes onto rotator disc, right foot comes up on bar. Make sure that you're centered underneath those sit bones. Attitude, throat is open as if you're going to sing, or you're in acting class, or you're going to build something out. Good, hands behind the head. Down and up for eight. Squeeze your core. my mind. 
Sorry about that, guys, at home. Good. Bring it all the way down and hold. So you're in that powerhouse like crazy. So people talk about core work. This is it. We could just sit here the rest of the class <coughs> and this would all be core. From there, lift your left heel up. Simon says, lift your left heel up and back down. And then control the bar up. Two parts this heel up, heel down, bar up. Good. And that slight transfer of weight make, works, makes you work a little harder. Chest is open. Good. It's got you working. You control the up. Don't let that bar come up too quick. Eight of these and hold it down and get into that core. So Anne, go. Okay. If you want, instead of two centers on three, go a three and a two. You're pushing it, no problem now. So if you want, you're you're good. You normally do it on two centers on two, right? You're, um, that chair is heavier. I'm not sure why. It's my older chair, but it is heavier. Yeah, two on three is the correct, but if it's too much, go down to a two and a three. Okay. So we're supposed to be two and three? Mm -hmm. No, you're supposed to be three and three. Two, but I'm on three. On. I'm on two. Are you on two? I think you're on three. <laughs> Counting from the bottom. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So from there, hold it down. And you know we're going to get harder progressively. Okay, left heel stays up. And your hands are wherever you need them for balance. Your eyes are fierce and you're strong. And you're going to go up and down, keeping the left heel up eight times ish. It's going to throw you around, but I want it to throw you around because I want you to become on and in your skin, right against your skin. They're right against the bathroom door. There you go. Do you want one? Just try. You know, even if you can't do it, at least you're trying. It's good. <laughs> do you see where they are, Marcy, right on the wall? <laughs> After eight, you're eight. Bring it down and hold. And that hold is more powerful than you can ever imagine. Good. Now let lets everybody kind of catch up, too. So the more we play with this in here, the, the better we do out there on the ice. Nancy Power. We're going to knock ourselves around. With our new Cindy, we're at four Cindy's now. I know, so we're catching up to the Nancy's. Okay, bring it all the way down the hold. Okay, so everyone's there. Heels are down. Okay, medial rotate the left femur bone inside the hip, but keep the hip straight forward. And external rotate as the bar comes up. You're moving at the same time, medial and down, external and up. Chest is open. Good. Getting ready to just like spread sunshine from your chest. Good, shoulders down, chin is up. Your eyes are fierce, just like you're in a batting cage or you're playing tennis. Did you play? You didn't play tennis. Did you play tennis? No. I did not. Never tried elbow. Oh. <laughs> okay, so why is my foot inchworming across the bar? Why is it what? Inchworming across the bar. Um. 
It just does sometimes. Go right between your toes and your ball of your foot. So you're kind of blocking it right there. Okay. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, are you on a different sock? No. Okay. Well, yes, they are, but they're new. Okay. That shouldn't be it. Take your bars. If you have a bar, and slide it along your machine. Or, John, you can lay it into this corner of the window. Both feet come to the bar. Hands go on top. If you want it easier, push your hands away from you. If you want it harder, bring your hands towards you. You can adjust any point you want. Both toe ball are on. Both feet, toes apart, heels together. Pilates stance. Hold your chapstick underneath your armpits. Round your back. Look at your navel. And lift straight up with a straight leg. Hip lifts. 15. If it's not coming up for you at all, then add an outside on two. Let's so go ahead and add an outside on two. Tuck the head, look towards your navel. One outside on two. Yes. There you go. Take a break though if it's too much in the shoulders. Give it a good whoop. whoop. <laughs> good save. Look towards your navel. Did I give you guys a number? 15. 15, okay. When you're done with 15, both feet come to the rotator disc. Good. And let's stand with feet parallel and just hold there for a moment while we're all together again. Okay. Arms go into I Dream of Genie. Shoulders are down. Giving our wrists a break, our shoulders a break. Draw those shoulders down, rib cage in, tight glutes. Take your thoracic spine your rib cage and twist it eight inches to the left. Don't let it move. Hold it there and bring your lower body underneath it. Eight inches. Lower body underneath. Eight inches. Lower body underneath. Eight inches. Lower body underneath. Good. Eight inches. Lower body underneath. When you hit front again, go right. Shoulders down. Good. Bodies up tall. Twist to the right. Good. You're going to start feeling that core, the same core we feel when we hold the bar down. It's funny how you can go to the, your right hand. It seems like you go easy. You go easier because you are connected to that side of your yeah. body. You're not connected to the left. The other thing that happens is the floor was not floated and leveled yeah. before they tiled it. Uh, so there are dips in the floor here and there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And um, so Marcy's got a dip, and there's a dip over here too that some of those people hit. But Marcy, you had no problem with it. Okay. Both feet on, come up onto your tippy toes, then heels come down, snow angel your arms. Okay, just like that pedipole is right behind you, that bar is right behind you, keep the glutes in and roll down. Hands go to bar. I know. Once your hands touch, it can't really turn. Tuck your head and round your rib cage as far away from that floor as you can. So a mad cat posture. So tuck the head, mad cat the spine, straight arms, chapstick underneath your armpits. Good. Use your core and push the bar down. Let's just go straight for five. Keeping the hands on the bar. If you've added an outside spring, yes. let's take it off. Thank you. You're welcome.
Good, you guys. Get a lot of bend. Imagine that pulls right behind you. Keep the booty in. Don't lean back. Good. Straight legs. After five, press down. Twist the feet all the way to the right. But keep your legs straight. Stay in the obliques. Come up and center. Now we'll do this. Move at the same time. Bar goes down, twist to the right. So eight to the right, we'll do eight to the left. Joan, watch your ears with this because it is that kind of inverted upside down. And then we'll do eight to the left. When you come up, don't ride it. I want your abs to do the work. Sorry, not that I was watching anybody ride. <laughs> ride that. Ride, Sally, ride. Really work those obliques. So eight to the right, eight to the left. Where'd that come from? That ladder barrel gets me like, you no, know, whoa, you know, just, just complete different spots. I'm gonna start playing with ladder barrel on Thursdays for level two, level one. And what we're gonna be doing is kind of mixing a bar, B-A-R-R-E, bar like booty with ladder barrel. So when my more advanced classes are doing walkovers and back bends and handstands, we'll be working legs like crazy. So kind of just something I'm playing with with my head. It's, you know, it never stops. There's always something going on. Okay, from there, rotate disco in. John and Joan, you're gonna always bend your knees and turn your chair. And we're gonna take our boxes and put them one inch away from the lip. And then John, you've got the long lipped machine, so your box can go right against the lip. And so just use the two boxes on the end underneath those Cadillacs. So about two inches away from the lip, and that way your knuckles don't hit. If your shoulders are sore, then two centers on three. If your shoulders are strong, two centers on three, and plus an outside on two. We've got three sets of 15. So we can adjust them at any point. Good. And you want to be facing away. We're going to be sitting down facing away from our chair. So this is lats, right? Say that again. I'm sorry. It's your lats. Uh, lats and triceps. So suitcase handles. I've mounted suitcase handles to your sternum. So right here. So your suitcase handle doesn't look like this at all. It is to where the ceiling and the wall meet. Okay. Fingertips are facing towards you. And take a rest whenever you need to on this one. Press down, pause. Squeeze inner thighs, squeeze ankles. Grow two inches taller and lean back till you feel your abs start to shake. Keep your sternum still, bend your elbows. And press down. Feel your scapula working at the same time staying down. This has been a big rehab for me with that frozen shoulders to be able to keep the scapula even. So I want you guys to get a feel for that. That we never have to deal with frozen shoulder. Long neck, strong eyes. Inhale on the way up. Stretching out the pectoral minors. Exhale as you press down. 15, good. Stretch it out in between. So this level two class has really been doing some level three things. And so the second set, if you're feeling like your shoulders are saying they're a level two today, hang with the box. If not, I'm going to show you on John's machine what we're going to do. So um, 
If you feel you want to try the top position and you want some help, make sure that you add an outside on two. So like if you already have an outside on two, that will help you on this move. More weight on this one is more helpful. Sorry, Mike's right in the wrong spot. Toes are on the bar, heels together. I'm going to hold a tennis ball between my heels and my tailbone. My suitcase handle reaches. I keep my shoulders down. I'm going to bend my elbows, stretching everything and then working everything to straight arms. You can do it here or you can repeat and be on the box. Stay, stay, stay low. <laughs> stay low if your shoulders are screaming. It's just kind of giving you options here. No pressure, but Bob Brokes, not Becker, Bob Brokes did level three this morning. And how did he do? He did great. I told him he could come do it, but he couldn't complain. And he didn't. He was happy, Bob. Toes are apart, heels together, chest to ceiling. Knees together? Nope, knees out a little bit. And just keep those tennis balls, heels to tailbone, and dip and press up. So shoulders stay down, suitcase handle reaches. Oh. Good, each time you hit the top, squeeze out those triceps and make them sore. Watch those shoulders, Nancy Drake. There you they go. They really want to go up, don't they? They do. Like a three-year-old, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So our goal, Ann, is to work your lats like crazy Get your triceps strong so that you're always here when you're making jewelry and stressed and never here. No. Bring the table up higher towards you. And a big fan. Your hands don't hurt? It's just a constant. Um, I do gymnastic stretches and so, and my wrists never hurt now that I do these. Um, this is a gymnastic stretch. This is a gymnastic stretch here. And then also palms up and here. Okay. And I do those, you know, I find myself doing these probably every other day, if not every day. When I'm lifting, I'm always doing gymnastic stretches because we have the front so lifts. You could do that instead of. You could do that. It's going to be a little harder on the shoulders, but you can do it. Good. The other trick in here, you guys, is when our wrists start just to get so sore from being in this position, is like if we're doing some of these, we can roll these up and have our hands here. See how the angle is less than being here. The better and healthier our shoulders, though, the less stress on our wrist. Mm -hmm. Healthy. So I, this cushion's going to help, and the, the stretches are going to work, too. That actually helps. When you're flat like that, I don't have a problem. Okay. So we, we're each built so different, but the healthier our neck, healthier our shoulders, easier on our wrist. But with the arthritis, you know, like some people have it really bad in the thumbs. They've got to cushion up all the time. Okay. Third set. You guys want something different? I'm going to show you in John's. Um, and this is more of a stretch in your shoulders. And now that your bodies are warm, are you guys all warm now? Okay. Because I'm going to put you on the cold floor. So if I'm going to try this, I'm going to push the box out of the way. Hopefully out of my neighbor's way too. And I'm going to bring the bar down. So this is tough on knees. Okay. So we're going to bring the bar down. Put it. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to scoop forward and I'm going to be ready for it. So we're going to take outside springs off. I've got them on right now. But stretch, press down, tailbone back, lift, down, back. And this is, this is huge. So being pulling those toes back so as tall as you can. You can do this or you can do the box again. But if you're going to do this, take your outside spring off. Are you going to try it, Nancy? I guess so. Give it once. Go down slow. This is on the wrist, though, again. I, I go down taking the bar with me. So I bend. Go down. There you go. 
fit. You got it. Facing towards you. One. And then we're Lift. Down. Booty up. Down. There you go. Shoulders down. Go toes on bar. Heels together. There we go. Yeah. Chest open, chest to ceiling and wall. Good, and lift that chin. You guys, pull your toes back so you get a good calf stretch, too. Listen to your shoulders. Yeah, come on out of it. That's fine. Just inch your way up. When you lift up, still go booty behind you. Booty behind. So you're sliding that scapula down. There you go. Pull toes back and stretch. <laughs> yeah, this is just, there's so many ways to work triceps on chair, um, but this is fun. But Joan, I'll give you something to get you off your wrist for this next one. <laughs> Nancy, on this next hundred, I'm going to have you do it on the mat so your neck is supported. Okay. okay. When you're done with this set, take our boxes and just take care of them. If they're sweating, you know they're sweating, then remember, just make a mental note and we'll spray them down after class. Instead of sweat angels, you'd have little sweat butt marks, little hearts. <laughs> um, a friend sent me a link and it was called, they were called heart pants. And they were black and they were red and the red was like, a heart, so as your legs were together, it made a perfect heart. <laughs> I have a client who's in her 80s who wears lion pants, and when her legs are together, there's a huge lion right here. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's supposed to be here, the lion. She goes, well, how about here? She found him in Mexico. I'm like, those are great. And she's, so, she's built like this. So we are going to do the 100 on chair. So if you know you have neck issues, you can do them on the mat, on the Cadillac. But otherwise, we're going to stagger our chairs where we come out three feet, you're going to come out 18 inches. Joan, you're going to come out three feet this way because we don't want our feet to be hitting our neighbor. So this way, my feet wouldn't be in Marcy's hair. Then the black mats just go down. And the reason the black mats go down is I don't want them teeter-tottering you. I've had a level four go off the chair backwards. And so um, I'm strict on this. And Nancy Drake, if you're going to do it out a little bit. And then stagger, go this way a little bit more. This way? That way. Because we just don't want your feet and our, Anne's feet in your hair. Let's go this way. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. So then when we come down, this is so important. The hands have to be here, and my booty is here. Not here, because I'll roll off the back, but here. One leg up, other leg up, tabletop. Reach the hand. Shh, 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 shh. If you can, straighten the legs out. Or you can do it on a Cadillac mat, too. Good. When you're there, go ahead and go right into it. Hinging up. Inhale for five. Good. And exhale. If you want it harder on your abs, start to straighten the legs out and away. Nice. Hinge up as high as you can. Your breath is in your back. Now, bigger arms, more dynamic. Good. Really reach. Tiny bow to the elbows. Joan, bow the elbows a little bit more. There you go. And then Nancy Drake, reach your hands a little bit more. Down. Reach them like. Oh. Boop. Oh, to a tiny bow. Okay. And then big arms. Big. Nancy can act bigger arms. Big arms. I like to see them go up about six inches above your hip really? and then down. Yeah. Big, yeah. big, big, big. Especially because we don't have the straps right now. Shoulders are down. Good. Ribs to hips. Core is on, so if I were to come push on you, you won't go anywhere. Bigger arms, bigger arms. Let me see those arms. All the way up here and down. Here, down, here, down. Good. Working ribs to hips. Beautiful. Keep working your hinge here. There it is. Good. And then from there, bend your knees in. Grab behind your chair like you were earlier and come up. If you didn't feel your abs, let me know. <coughs> Everybody feel them? <laughs> <laughs> Round two, if not. Right? So I gave your wrist a break. 
Um, we're going to go. <laughs> yeah. So we're working on everything. But the wrists were happy, right? Yeah. So on that one, um, classic instructors teach a straight elbow. I like to bow the elbows because otherwise I don't feel my lats. And I want to feel my mid-back. When your hands come up, they're six to eight inches above your hips and down. So we don't start doing this. Like, because we want it to be mid-back. The whole thoracic spine is working. Everything is dynamic and dynamic. So, but there's no, none of this stuff. Or tap, tap, tap. So that's why I was working on arms. But there's so much to work on on 100. It's kind of fun. OK, uh, one center spring. It's always easier to change from the back. Just keep your chair where it's at. And one center spring goes on four, and the other one comes off. So one center spring on four. Is it hurting on the side? OK. Maybe walk it out a little bit or roll it. When we were in the 100? No, just now. Just now? Um, for everyone, I'm just going to have you stand for just a moment, feet parallel. And squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze the glutes. And feel how the kneecaps open up. And then release. Good. Squeeze your glutes and feel your kneecaps open up. You guys feel how the knees kind of open to the sides and release. And again, squeeze those glutes as tight and as hard as you can. Feel the kneecaps open and pull torso. And release, hurting or better. OK, two more. Squeeze the glutes, knees. Release one more time. Good, squeeze the glutes, knees open up, pull torso. And release, good. If this next one hurts, d don't do it. OK. We're going to take a, a wide stance. So my stance is going to be wider than my shoulders, this Tai Chi stance. And then I'm going to drop my tailbone like it's reaching to the floor. So instead of neutral, it's straight down. And I'm going to bend my knees. OK. Tailbone reaching towards the floor. Good. And you're balanced. Sit bones are tight. Your inner thighs are engaged. Nancy Drake tailbone, maybe tiny bit back behind you. Right, like straight to floor. There it is. Good, and you would just bend a little bit more. Any pain? Okay. Good. And want your knees right over the second and third toes. So you don't want the knees to rock forward, but back. Kind of squeeze those glutes again. Glutes are on. Crab walk it. <laughs> Bring a foot up, and you're going to balance. <laughs> Yeah, down and up. When you hit the bottom, squeeze your inner thighs. I have it light. It's going to make you work harder to keep your balance. There you go. Be ready for some bangs. Good. Okay, once you find it, get that bar down. Squeeze your inner thighs. Keep your sit bones equal like you're sitting on the saddle of a horse. Good. Keep the knees over the second and third toe. Look straight ahead and open up that chest. And bend the left knee more. There you go. Now keep it there and just look up. Right knee come up and back down. And because you're little, you don't have to hit the top. <laughs> take your hands forward to give you a little bit more balance. Give me some of this. It is going to take you for a ride. Tailbone straight down. Twelve of these. A lot of balance today. This is good, but I've got you out of your wrist right now. Out of your shoulders. Chest is open now. Yeehaw. And every time you hit the bottom, I feel like you're dragging the chair towards you. And when you're done with that 12, there's no rush. Finish them out and then turn around. Find your position first before you bring the leg up. Good. So we're all in here and we're 120. Saying, I've got great balance. Sweet. Yeah. Sit bones equal. Look straight ahead, chest open. Remember the lion's coming through the chest.
<laughs> Listen to that chair. Talk to you. Each time you hit the floor, drag your chair towards you by pulling those inner thighs tight. Oh, yeah. Your hips screaming. So this is a good one to draw those hips together, together, together. So Joan, a thigh master would be good for you. Oh, yeah. Suzanne Me Summers. Too. Yeah. I don't have one though. Just, this is the cheapest way to do it. Go to Walmart or wherever and buy one of those little balls that the kids play with and put it between your knees. Yeah. Never spent all of it in here. Yes, but what even more importantly it does is it pulls my hips together. So I'm going to pull my knees together and I'm going to lift kit with my glutes. See, I'm lift kitting with my glutes. My glutes are tight. Watch my glutes. So you're doing it sitting down? Yes, oh. and lifting. Because when I'm here, I want this pelvis to stay here and not hang out. So I've been doing it with, between my feet. I'm doing that stretch thing. Is that making that worse? It does. Um, but so you should do both? Yeah, do both. Um, the hip flexor, you've seen the hip release video that I did. You can do that every day, every day. And squeeze that ball between the knees. You can also squeeze ball between the knees, squeeze glutes, and go heels up, heels down. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our, we're going to block our chair against something that can't get away from us and we're going to scoot down some of this some of us with knee issues this might be tough yeah to be but see how my knees are over my ankles here my my feet are sliding you don't want to do this in something that's sliding but you're going to stand up narrow pelvis booty back and there's a free fall there and then back up but you're not sitting down you're reaching back. So it's spooky. Spooky's good. Spooky in here is good. So you get out there and get spooked, you're like, I got this. So you're gonna turn, where you can either have to touch the back of the chair or you can be goosed by the knobs. So Marcel, have you twirl it? Your feet are lined up with your hips. Let's go right against the machine here. I don't want it to go anywhere on you. Is anyone slick? Their feet are slick? I've got stuff on. You good? Okay. Marcy, your feet are good? Yeah. Okay. Narrow the pelvis like we were just talking, and your feet are straight forward. Turn this way. Okay. You were talking to me. I didn't even get that. That's okay. <laughs> Take it. Feet forward more, because I want you to sit just like John's sitting. Oh, okay. You're not really sitting. You're just pushing against you're the You're pushing against, yeah. So scoot down until you're just pushing on the corners. So you're not really sitting on it. Scoot lower and take your feet out further. Good. Okay, I want you to focus on your heels and to floor and narrow your pelvis. Remember, we're talking about narrowing pelvis. And stand up. Okay, I can do it. Good. You want to go as many as you can, but let's try for 12. I'm not sure about going back. Up. Okay. Yeah. Now the reason I have that chair there and it's blocked is that it doesn't get away from you and you won't hit the floor. Woo, come up straight oh, though. Nice. Oh, what was I doing? Dipping? You went way over that oh, side. this side? You went way over that side. Okay. There you go. There. So I want more pressure on this heel. Okay. <laughs> knees out, knees out. Yeah. So knees are out just to activate any more muscles. Keep the pelvis narrow. John, you're nailing it. Good, Marcy. And that bit of a free fall yes. makes you freak out, and I like that. If you're getting used to the free fall, slow it down a little bit. Nancy, impeccable. I mean, perfect. I'm very happy with that. Thank you. It's perfect. Good, good. Yeah, look at you work. Homework, this is good for you. Joan, this is going to save that hip. 
you guys have ever been in Cadillac class where we use the roll down bars and we use it, we sit down on the box and come back up but we have the bar to help us. This is another form of that but you don't have to go as low. Boy, that's something. So this is, <laughs> okay. if our muscles are lined up, like when we do our reformer work and we're blocked in and we're doing all of our work, this straight work is so healthy to teach our muscles new patterns of movement. Same with blocking them out this way when you go down so you're not doing anything funky. Oh. You can feel it and watch. And it's good if you're doing these at home to have a mirror or have something where you can watch that you're not doing this or this. So if that makes your knees green right here? I want it to. Oh. Um, <laughs> because we're, we're pulling those knees into alignment. Or your foot might need to be out but your knee's going past the foot. Just a tiny putting know. stretch around that. Go down into it. Let's see it. Go down. We're all watching, yeah? yeah? Pull a perfect one off. Well, yeah. Yeah, so that's a good form. So what John was talking about is if you have your feet too close and you're going here, you're going to be on that patella. But your slide's the outside. So squeezing those glutes, narrowing that pelvis, these straight tracks and making our glutes work. Healthy glutes, healthy feet. Sagging flat pocket glutes, unhealthy knees. But this is great for the pelvis, too, to keep it in alignment and watch that you have equal pressure on both feet. So I know that one's a tough one. You nailed it. No problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. We were watching you kind of going off to the side. I think side. it helps to have the mirror because you can yeah. see a reference where oh, your body is yeah. in the chair you and when you know, versus if you're yeah. not there, I was like totally freaking out. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I have people who go out to the side and I have people who fall in. I think mine would probably fall in. You were just going over to the left yeah. side. You're over on the left. Is it because this is stronger mm -hmm. than this? Yeah. Okay. You're used to taking over, but that so pulls then, our hips out. And then what, more yeah. flexing in your glutes and in your pelvis pulling in to get it pulled to center yeah. for you. Yeah. And you just, um, and this is, you know, I'm working with this gal right now who's taught Pilates and, and um, structurally has been working with people forever and healing people. But we, she's also been an athlete, and she's got a small tweak of an ankle that shoots up through her body. I've got small tweaks, so it's good to block us, you know, and come down and make sure that we're straight and come back up because we all have our funny little whoops, but it costs us our hips and our knees. So that's a good one. Okay, keeping the chairs there, you're going to feel kind of close to the wall. Mm -hmm. Let me do um, one last one. We're going to be working our posterior chain and stretching our hamstrings at the same time. Let me do this. Oh man, I did it yeah, again. Yeah. Okay. Next My time. hamstrings are happy, thank you. Are they ha happy? <laughs> okay. Oops. That's okay. I, why do I keep forgetting like a mental block of the hamstrings? I'll put a note on my card. Okay. Hamstring Wednesday. Just put, put it on the Wednesday. Yeah. Call it Hamstring Wednesday. It's like the uh, last class got away without doing Tabatas. 30 second work, 10 second rest. Um, because we didn't write it down and then when Jen left she was just laughing because mm -hmm. it's hard for me to remember some of those. Okay, so posterior chain work. John, you're going to have that window, so kind of slide into the center of the window. Okay, so we want this where it doesn't move. We're going to be flat back, thighs against the chair. If you've got sensitive thighs, use your black cushion right here because you're Thighs are going to stay here. They're never going to come off. They're going to stay right here. It is a flat back. Lengthen the neck or slightly look forward. I'll let you just tiny bit bend that neck. Flat back down. Looking forward. Come up. Flat back. Posterior chain. When you go down, use it as a stretch. Ten of these to stretch and work. And two on center. I mean two. Center. One center on three or four. Sorry. We're good. Flat back, if you have a mirror, look into it. John, if you feel like you're going to hit, you're going to hit. Yeah. Just get your chair to the left. Use that window well. There you go. When you come off that bar, structurally, come off straight. Good, so you don't have one hand and then the other hand come off. Squeeze your glutes as you come up. Squeeze and narrow your pelvis. As you go down, stretch everything and compress your abs. Flat back, so Nancy can act, go flat, chest, 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 booty back, reach for the sky with the booty. There it is. Now come up that way too, hands up off, off the bar as you come up. Flat back, lift up. You come all the way up. All the way up. Yeah. 
Now all the way up is going to hook that whole posterior chain, calves, hamstrings, glutes. So there's a little bit of hamstring work here. We were doing something Tuesday. You were telling me this was hamstrings that were tight. Yeah. Um, yeah, the looser our hamstrings, the easier it is on our hip flexors. That was what was giving me trouble. Okay. Joan, you feeling this one? That was perfect. I look good. Good, you guys. Wow. Isn't that neat? Nancy, bring a more awareness on this side here. These spinae erectors aren't working as much as quadratus and spinae. being deficient right here. Can you feel the difference? Yeah. How this side's bringing you up? Yeah, this okay. is the tight, this is the loose. Get I this probably, tighter. I probably need to go get an adjustment. So you would do um, quadrupeds and lift that right side up. So it would look like this for you. Okay. Lift, lift, lift. Feeling it back here. Okay. So I would say, both of both sides are just do that one the side. Right side. You could do like twenty lifts and then stretch the other side, make it work, and then twenty lifts and stretch the other side. Start in circles, small circles first, big circles the other direction while your hands are down. So the back. feet back here. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. You go, you go back, or you can bend and lift, push with your heel. And that will good. That's all. So this is the muscle you're trying to work. Yeah. This one here? Yes. Yeah. So you don't want to dip, because yeah. you get that cheerleader posture a little bit, so you want to pull that in. So here, or straight. straight Barbara, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so all of that, the circles, the lifts, this control on the quadrants. Everybody else seemed pretty balanced. I was just seeing it on you. Yeah. So I want you guys to see this. This is stuff I'm looking for. Will you do one for me here? Well, and so, do it the way I was doing it. Yeah, do it the way. <laughs> and so you can see, and this is things I'm watching for in you guys, with your hips or with your knees or with your glutes. Is, uh, see how this, it's okay, she can tuck under. See how this is not turned on? And so this one's totally riding the other one. Yeah, but that's why I'm stretching and pulling you guys and we're blocking ourselves out so that we're trying to get as straight as we can. And if I, if I didn't correct Nancy at all, she'd come up like this. Yeah. 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 Okay. So stretching, you can balance. Oh yeah. Or you can hold on to a pole. Barbara. Yeah, yeah. How was your trip? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome home. Thank you, thank you. See? Yes. What'd you get her to do? Look look straight ahead. She looks straight ahead. Yeah. That gets that back flat. Good morning, Nita. Nita, this is Barbara. Barbara, this is Nita. Hi, Nita. Good. Good. As you're stretching, pull tail between the legs. We can stay still on the first one. Yeah. It's, is it here or is it quad? Okay. Switch legs. You can always use something behind you to get that foot. Or you can dip and leave it up yeah. on something. I do that on the bed. Even with knee replacements, they want you to work that heel in towards the glute. That flexibility. <laughs> so when did you come home? I got home Friday. Okay. Yeah. So it's taking you a couple days. So. Uh -huh. It was only 24 hours. Difference? Well, I'm flying. Oh. <laughs> take it over. Seems like it takes that long everywhere. It took 28 hours to get there. God. That's the crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you go, Bob? Uh, 
Mighty and Mark. Oh. And over. And that's a hell of it. And then it's almost halfway around the world. Uh -huh. yep. Beautiful. We're going on a hike, a five day hike in uh, Vermont uh -huh. in October. Uh -huh. And roll the shoulders back for three. It takes me all day to fly from Durango. Yeah. And then, then the nine mile flight the next day. Nine, yeah. The 13. Shake it out. Why well, just isn't fun? I mean, one small there. jump. <laughs> if you want one big jump, you guys are done. <laughs> nice work. So wipe everything down for the next class. Two centers on three. I got a new toy. Oh, wow. Pedal pole. Uh -huh. You guys wave bye to everybody at home. Bye, guys. Bye. What is a pedal pole? It's about keeping alignment.